Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Zooming in on some of the initial red flags of the narcissist and perhaps even the psychopath when they are swooping in and targeting you. I find that in my study and experience with this population that the, especially the covert narcissist, I think we should probably, I'm sorry, the overt narcissist, the overt narcissist is someone who really kind of enters into your life with a great degree of overwhelm. So this overwhelm essentially is you can almost feel it taking over you. This person will come across as very charming, very enduring, um, a leader, a uh, director in your life, someone perhaps with some knowledge, but just kind of like a bigger than life personality. And especially the psychopath will uh, definitely come across to people in a similar manner where they really are overwhelming. And by overwhelming, I mean they make you essentially forget about yourself for a moment. You're kind of swept up. It's almost like watching, you know, um, a car wreck where you all of a sudden are like, oh my gosh, you know, and like you abandon everything that you were thinking, everything that you were planning to do everything that you had kind of like set up and all of a sudden you just kind of abandon what you were thinking, your goals, and then you're drawn to this immediate chaos and this immediate sense of overwhelm. And this essentially is a major tool, especially of the overt narcissist. So the one who has very grandiose body movements, physical movements, uh, very kind of charming, um, enduring, will target you with a lot of sweet nothings. Uh, the things that they say um, will really kind of catch your attention right away. Um, especially when they're trying to court you for supply. If it's a romantic relationship, you know, they might come at you then with, you know, the love bomb and then some sort of saga, you know, uh, sa sa you know uh, sob story that they initially kind of lure you in on with you know and they essentially are able to get your heart and this love bombing phase is really where they begin to determine if indeed this is going to be a supply source for me if it's going to be a primary supply source a secondary supply source so they really are able to assess you up and size you up right away and figuring out you know where you're going to fall and if indeed you can fall in line with them as the uh as the narcissist and you as the supply. In other words, is this person easy for me to control? Is this person easy for me to uh, suck in in a romantic relationship? Uh, will they be able to be subservient to me? Do they have that personality flaw? In other words, are they innocent? Have they never been targeted by this type of person before? Are they susceptible to boundary violations? You know, can I overwhelm them with these tactics? So you have to be very careful, I would say, if you're recently emerging from a narcissistic or psychopathic abusive relationship, really try to, um, in terms of arming yourself for the future, be very wary of people who are really seeking to overwhelm you. Um, on that emotional or physical level because this is I, I really feel a true indicator of someone who is trying to violate your boundaries in other words your personal space if they make it you know all of a sudden you know uh, cross a boundary uh, for you emotionally uh, try to essentially get under your skin and manipulate and control you be very careful and do not give up your control your personal control to these people no matter what setting it is. Um, I mean, if you're in a bar and you are drinking and you're drunk and you're looking to be overwhelmed or have your boundaries violated, I mean, then you're kind of asking for it. But if you are truly one who does not want to have your, your boundaries violated and be overwhelmed and essentially be uh, seduced into this cycle where they're the one who is... Um, perpetuating this narcissistic tendency to manipulate and control, be very careful of those who initially are coming on very strong and serve to overwhelm your system and get you kind of um, in a little bit of a uh, tailspin. I think this is uh, this awareness and 
uh, metacognition where you're able to acknowledge this, this will actually serve you very well. Um, because it can save you a lot of grief and perpetuating a feeling of insecurity that these people tend to try to create in you as if you don't know any better when in essence that you do. Uh, the gaslighting that comes after the love bombing um, and that whole uh, phase will just continue to prey upon and est really establish and prey upon that weakness. And you don't need to get involved with anyone who is trying to do this because it just ends in really a tremendous amount of catastrophe and issues for you later on in life. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.